Hello again traders, right, um, it's Saturday morning, I did uh, attempt to make a video, well no it's not, it's Saturday afternoon now, actually half past one, well well past half past one, as you can see over here. So, um, I attempted to make a video first thing, it went wrong, I decided just to go for a walk because it's uh, rain is forecast for the afternoon, and um I wanted to make a video about um, the importance, in my opinion, of finding, excuse me, finding genuine ex-city traders and picking their brains, as it were, you know, and I'm not a great one for pestering people, so I'd just read and read and read and read. Um, if a if a um, forum thread, for example, is uh, five years old and still going strong, I'll make a point of reading every post related to the actual traders. Say, for example, Billy TT's thread on Forex Factory, I'd read everything from him. Um, and anyone else that uh, is uh, obviously well into what he does. Same with Claudia One and Lem. Lem, I forget it's the rest of his nickname. I haven't been on these forums for years and years and years, just occasionally to pick up a new indicator like this one recently. Studied it years ago, added it back, finding tons of value with it, so it's here. So anyway, back to sort of um, these charts and why I like to find ex-pro traders. I mean, these ex-pro traders, ex-city, I think uh, Billy TT, he, I don't think he ever mentioned who he was with. I know Claudia One said she was with, uh, she, I think she's German, and she was with the Deutsche Bank or something. Anyway, these guys are the real deal. I made a point of finding real deal traders. I don't, you don't need to find tons. If you find two or three that uh, uh, profess to be the real deal, then they will know, in my opinion, the um, fraudsters, as it were, the non-real deal. So. To find two or three together, they're going to know that they, you know, they're going to gel. You know, like-minded people uh, flock together, as it were, don't they? And uh, would expose uh, frauds. So, what I noticed about nearly all of them is that they trade horizontal lines. You know, I've got the Bollingers on here just to uh, compare with what's going on there and learn how to use it properly. And because I studied Bollinger's as well, so in depth, love them. Actually, really do like them. But um, you know, stuff comes on, uh, goes off my charts, comes on my charts, goes off my charts as you progress. And as I've said to uh, or many times in my videos, um, the more I progress with my screen time, the more I noticed. I mean, I noticed something this morning. Um, and in my previous take of this video, uh, I said um, that you just never, ever, ever stop learning. And the uh, example was, we've got BTC here that has a three candle reversal up on the daily, which generally means we should get a, a pullback to the short side. So um, I would uh, carefully watch, because if you think of this as a five minute chart, and remember I'm talking about horizontal lines, and I've already, you know, that, that's as much as I'm going to say about ex-city traders is what I've just said. There's no big um, illusion or big revelation about them. That is it. You know, if you find them, do your research, check what they're doing. Uh, you know, there's no doubt tons more, but I don't need tons more. So, um, because they, I've learned enough off of them to stick with horizontal lines so getting back to this 3cr if it broke above the high let me just get my scripts up on my mt4 then it effectively it's above the daily open and the daily high the tm uh, the daily tmt daily candle indicator here is telling me already we've broken below because it's pinky red it means we're below the open um, so it is effectively fairly bearish for me. Forgive me for those two white lines on there. They are just a little bit of analysis that I did in part one. 
or sorry, outtake one. So um, this is all, you know, we know a daily chart is telling us we should be looking for longs. And uh, I like to use a couple of these um, these uh, cryptocurrency pairs at the weekend. I've had up to six on here, Dash and uh, ADA, USD and all the other USD related cryptos. Because you know how, if you follow me, you know correlation is uh, is very important. It doesn't always work. It's not 100% reliable. But it, if you've got half a dozen pairs and they're all agreeing and two aren't, then, you know, um, that is a fairly good um, representation of bias. Go with the half a dozen that are providing everything, providing all the other dozen or two dozen checkboxes that you have added to your charts agree. So it's just the numbers game in terms of ticks. And um, this one, this one adds a spanner in the works. So perhaps I should add a few more, but I, I try to keep things as simple as possible for newer traders. I know what I'm looking at with my eyes shut now almost, but this one getting to the point, 3CR is still uh, undone as it were. But that then, so it's not a slam dunk pullback situation. Literally, it's ranging. And if you've watched any of my um, weekend videos, I should make a, a list of um, a playlist where weekend is the uh, point of um, uh, analysis, as it were. But if you've watched any of my other ones, you'll know that BTC and, well, Cryptos are incredibly unreliable. They can go four or five weeks where they absolutely kick the backside out of these ADRs. And as is the case for this weekend, this I think is the third weekend in a row that BTC has done nothing. But that is an education in itself. You know, I'm talking about a tenth or a quarter or whatever. I can't remember offhand what it was and I'm not going to go off track again, off piste. They, um, it was incredibly low, painfully low, um, which is why I don't trade the cryptos at the weekend uh, for um, anything other than pennies or on demo. So um, they're both the same to me. Pennies and demo are both the same because uh, you know pennies aren't real money. So why would why would you listen to someone that says, "Oh, you've got to have skin in the game"? You're either going to lose a small fortune because pennies don't give you the correct mindset or just stick on demo and my answer to all the demo um, trader um, naysayers is there's one simple additional rule you can add to that trade a demo chart with absolute 100% discipline as you would a real money sensible real money account so if you need to earn $100 a day and that's your target, then set your demo account up like that and keep to the exact rules of the demo as you would use in live trading, real trading. And then it worked for me. I'm telling you, it worked for me. The transition to live money, real money, should almost become muscle memory, second nature. So, and you can start low. You could say, okay, I need $100 a day to live or £100 a day to live, but I'm going to demo as if it's £20 a day. And when I switch to live, then I won't be risking huge money, but I will be uh, making enough, depending on where you live in the world, to make it a worthwhile side hustle. If you uh, prefer, you've got to try this. I mean, you will always lose money testing the switch from demo to real. But pennies are just demo, in my opinion. That you will, I've done it. I've been there. It didn't work for me. You know, spend spend ages messing around with a pound a day, possible profits, and you're you're more than likely. Well, this is what happened to me. And I'm sorry, I've gone off topic again. You're more than likely gonna think you're God's gift to trading on your one pound a day on your pennies. And then load up your account, 
and start trading a hundred or a thousand dollars a trade or whatever. So be sensible and be prepared to keep going back to your demo account. You make a mistake, give yourself a limit. I don't know, load an account up on a high, um, high leverage with a couple of hundred quid or whatever, or a hundred quid, whatever suits you, and then trade 20 quid a trade or whatever. Do not put two or three or four thousand in there and go straight in for 500 quid a trade because believe me, done it, been there, got the t-shirt. So, you know, you, it's all trial and error trading. I've got my hands going all over the place at the moment. Trading is trial and error and you can only, you are the only person that can find out the right way. But please, please, please listen to me when I say do not, I mean, do not go straight in, I don't know, 10 grand, 50 grand, whatever, been there, done that, got the t-shirt, and blow the lot. Because i tell you how it works, or it worked for me, and a number of other traders I know that ended up throwing the towel in. You will start off with 50k, or whatever, and blow it. And then you will reload your account with, I don't know, say, be a bit more sensible, a tenth of that, 5k. I didn't, I think I probably put half of it. And then you will blow that 5k. And then you think, oh God, I better go really careful now, 2k. And you will blow that 2k. You will blow numerous accounts, guys. It's the adrenaline, over trading. You get a winner, you get overconfident, you make three trades instead of two, one, and whatever, a day. And you blow it. You arrange trades, you blow it. You, um, you know, there's 101 things, because I've gone off topic, I haven't really thought about this uh, deeply enough for a standalone video. But trust me, guys, you will blow fortunes the more money you load up in trading until you know what you're doing. And you're training your brain. And if you think you'd be able to do this, or anyone, anyone that says they can do this with under three to five years under their belt are dreamers. You know, everyone can find a, tr a trading um, technical pattern to trade and they can no doubt make a few good trades a day. But the minute the real money is on the table, it all goes out the window. Revenge trading and oversizing to win back your losses. And that's how it works. So, you know, if you're going to do anything, as I say, start with a sensible uh, value target do not start do not use real money until you've spent a year two three years at this should take you weeks to find a good way to trade um, I'm always going to say my way is a good way a good way not the only way a good way because I've been there done the t done it and got the t-shirt for every possible mistake you can make trading trust me i may be ultra ultra bad i'm not saying i'm not i may be ultra ultra slow you know i know my weaknesses um but i also know my strength sir strengths it's tenacity never giving up understanding being humble i know i don't sound very humble most of the time now but i've done the miles i've done the hard yards accepting that you i've said this many times on twitter accepting that you are the weakest link not the method not your charts uh maybe not even your money management it is just your ability to overcome the adrenaline trading sorry for the big preach and we'll get back to um to these uh charts so the fact this hasn't 3CR'd up is telling me that it's it's in no man's land at the moment. And it's also telling me to be very, very careful with BTC. If the, the only safe trade, in my opinion, is the long trade on this. But now I need to remind you of the caveat is that we never stop learning. Because I was... I have done my analysis and stats and all that lot on the um, WIC level 3CR. 
but I have switched over my my mental uh, bias away from Wix now to open and closes. So this actually literally would then be, you know, we've got an additional, I know it's an additional thing to think about, but no one said trading was going to ever be easy. There is no simple, simple method. But it gets easier the more you spend looking at the charts. So um, there is no, there's no excuse um, for zero screen time. You've got to do the thousands of hours it takes, in my opinion. So, what have we got going on here now? We've got a break of a line chart, and now if we look at ETH, and this isn't about curve fitting, guys. It's about watching charts and learning. All of these closes, we could track them all, but all I need to worry about is the highest one. That That's an open, actually. I do apologise. The red open is the highest of the lot, and we have actually closed above it there, with one bar, this one, how bizarre is that? But that is a new um, focus. I'll, I'll call it for now the line chart 3CR. So if we count that as our uh, critical level, and then we've got all sorts of other critical levels on these dailies, you could count that wick high as a critical level. Um, so... Aaron's 3CR indicator is the dog is nuts, as I'm concerned. I mean, how he did it, I don't know. I've said that many times. Thank you, Aaron. Intrepid Noodle on Twitter. But, so now we have a new variant in here. This could easily be at its uh, critical level on the long side and agree then agree with BTC and be a potential sell. So that helps me in my decision if BTC becomes a sell, I will look at ETH, and trust me, I'm not going to do it on the video, but i will load up another three or four USD um, crypto pairs. Let's see if I can find one. Chart window, um, symbols. Crypto, BCH, USD. BTC, ETH, LTC. Let's have a look at BT, BCH, um, Bitcoin Cash. So now I've got to find it. I've still got a list. Let's get rid of uh, Hide All. Not really going to help because of all the stuff I've got on my charts. Right, symbols again. I know you can't see what I'm doing here, but BCH USD should be at the bottom now. There it is. Chart window. Plus. So that doesn't help at all because we haven't had a 3CR. There's Saren's indicator. That's the penultimate. That's the ultimate low. Penultimate low. Ultimate low. So that is the, the idea behind it. Just quickly, you can go and look at my 3CR videos. It's a trend. Low, high, high, low, high, high. High, low, high, high, until it breaks the high of that, or now, as I've just said, the open and close, then that will um, not be a potential reversal. Now, this is interesting because it also actually qualifies the point I just made. This one is crashing into that um, open level. Open level script. Sorry, I need to trim down all my scripts and indicators so I can find them faster. I shall do that. I've done it with the indicators on one fit and plate. I need to, on one terminal rather. I need to do it with all of them. So here we are. This one's still bashing into that um, critical uh, battleground level. I mean, it's so important because it's on a daily, remember. Um, and this can take days to actually test that, which is another reason, in my opinion, all of these um, ADRs, uh, there's just nothing going on. So everything that on the charts tells us as a story, and I, you know, I keep banging on now. Charts are far more reliable than fundamentals. What came first? Your news articles from all the smoke and mirrors and all the bullshit artists out there, or is it your charts? That's all I need. Technical traders. 
these uh, guys that do the fundy analysis, yeah, I take it that fundies are better than uh, potentially uh, technicals for the real buy and hold and sell and hold traders, the real big, deep thinkers and the institutions and the banks and all that. Lot, they know what's going on. But we can't possibly know, A, who to believe. It's all, as I say, there's guys out there with half a million followers that talk utter rubbish. They've probably bought uh, everything over 12,000 followers anyway. So, you know, I know I can trust my charts. I know you can trust your charts. I know it can be done because I do it. So uh, there you go. That's the third uh, crypto. And I, I will actually set up my... I had a a different terminal set up with all the cryptos but everything changes all the time you know i had to put this on this particular terminal i had to put this on and this on i've probably created five thousand different templates over my trading lifetime so i digress again this whole um this whole video is really all about horizontal lines and we've talked about horizontal lines we've talked about open and close lines we've talked about wick highs and wick lows and we've talked about how I found professional traders that use them. Now, let's quickly talk about my analysis on BTC. So this is hovering around the open and close level. The first level it's going to have a problem at if it does actually start to push down. And the reason for that is that it is a 3CR level. And as you know, I love them as magnetic targets to price. So if I was wanting to short this, then I could take a valid short on the 5 minute, 15 minute and all those lower time frames to the sell zone, which would be huge, really. Sorry, I'm trying to put a just a bog standard non... That's weird. Why is that not working? The more I click it, the slower it gets, obviously. So let's let it catch up. We'll try again there. So we'll put that on that uh, 3CR level. Notice it's already tested it. So first thing, when that daily closed, there was potentially a possible short trade down to that level. I'll put it in the middle of it, that's it. That's where I am there, guys. Then the open-close level would be another level. We could put that on. Do that automatically. And this will be another level, the wick down there. And then obviously there will be new high... Uh, high uh, important levels on the h4 and so on and so forth now i could use dean's lines for that but i'll do this manually because it's how i learned to do it anyway so uh, we want to put a um, resistance level on the high of that candle and that will be somewhere around you can see it from there the 50 percent level of that actual candle or um more like uh probably about whatever 38 point whatever on the whole swing there to there the top at the bottom of that red candle to the top of there but if we just go down to m15 now and look at what we've got on our charts this is basically today's analysis on uh where this will go so um m15 doesn't show ah, there, there's the levels there now so that's the resistance level way down there that uh, price will probably have a problem that we've got uh, the daily pivot We've got the daily open where price is uh, hovering around at the moment. All the, you know, see, I've got a, a, an alert there for the short possible short sell. Um, but I'm not, you know, this is this is my hobby. I've said before, I absolutely adore uh, technical analysis and the stuff that I've learned over the years. It's you know, it's really really coming into its own now. Obviously, uh, earnings wise. Because after 20 years, or should I say not earnings, I'm not motivated by that. I'm mot motivated. What I'm motivated by is the freedom trading gives you. And most important, as I've said on many videos now, is the, um, the ability to be able to walk around with absolutely no stress because I'm not in a swing trade. I can sleep. I sleep like a baby. And I know if I wanted to, well, I don't have to trade daily, of course, that's just um, a routine I've got. 
But if I wanted to have four days off and came back to my charts uh, at any 15 minute close of the day with the ability to take a trade. But intraday, intraday that's beautiful because I can spend all day on the golf course or on yachts or whatever I want to be doing, swimming, spending time with family or friends. I can do that for all day. And I know if I come in at 7 p.m., you know, I can trade from 4 p.m. before all my relations get up and have breakfast with them and I've made my money. I can get home after a day out with everyone at 7 p.m. or thereabouts and I can catch a move because that'll be the gold close, gold H4 close, still uh, well into the, I'm talking 7 p.m. UK, well into the US session and I can find a trade. Now that is personally where I wanted to be when I set out doing this, the holy grail of trading. I don't want to be limited to uh, various trades that all these scammers sell where you have to be sat at your charts like an idiot on the US Open or an hour before it or five bars after it or, or whatever because you know bless him Billy TT that's what he does but he is an expert super expert at what he does and if he gets a losing trade he doesn't get all stressed out and revenge trade he has built a um, recovery method now at the time that was so overcomplicated for me to get involved in um, and it relies heavily on you know loading up which is the worst thing you can do if you lose a hundred pounds you know if his target was a hundred pounds and five pips he will uh, and he loses a hundred pounds whatever one to one then he will double up so he needs to make the 200 to get his hundred back and make uh, his daily money now, that is because he's a super, super trader. But that is the worst thing that a novice trader, like me, could, you know, with his method, should I say, and when I was learning from those guys, I should also add, that is the worst thing that you can do unless you can make money trading every day, all day long. So, Sorry I digress again, but it's all things that I've picked up and you can't put this on a 10 minute video and you can, you know, you cannot get it across on a couple of tweets on X. You have to think about what uh, you're doing, think about what I'm saying and then apply it. You know, here, I can clearly see this. This is a potential stop area, but this is a magnetic um, pivot area, in my opinion. This is far more important. Remember that was drawn on the wick of a candle, the wick of the daily candle. So that takes screen time to realise that. Just pivots, a pivot trading strategy is not what I'm here to do. I might develop one, but what I, all I need to know about my pivots is they will act like magnets. Why didn't that change over? There it is. There's that yellow line there. I highlight it so you can double check that that's what it is there so go back to let's go back to m30 there's your pivot there's that level and this is where price will likely go but that tells me be careful because it's an old daily high um if it breaks that on a one minute chart then that's the next level you know and then you've got s1 an old s1s there's an old um level of uh, a pivot there how bizarre is that 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 is the daily open line. I mean, you know, you couldn't make this stuff up. So I've digressed. I do apologise, guys. Uh, hopefully, if you're watching this, you've uh, gained something from it. Uh, I've said many times now I love this. I've said many times this is fantastic. Uh, thousands of times now that the pivots are magnetic. So I love them. Because, again, they help me. I don't have to worry about time. I have to worry about time of hour, but not time of day on my charts. If this breaks this daily open line, remember that is a zone as well. That's really important to keep in the back of your mind, as opposed to this being a uh, pip, nano pip precise level, that wick high. But even then, wicks punch through levels. They punch through zones. So there's no telling where that wick was really important. The, the wick high is probably targeted sell orders um, and taken out stops and so it is it was important at that time 
but it's probably hit the high of a zone and that zone will never be that will never necessarily be attacked again so you have to have a third and fourth and fifth sense of these things and that again can only be gained by watching price but the pivots the algorithms are watching them the big banks are watching them they watch them test it test it test it finally break if this looks right for a sell in my opinion you know that will tell me all i need to know and i'm ready to go to the next level same here test 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 finally all look perfect on this and i'll go to this level and that level test 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 and i will go to my next and i've got that's why i have dean's lines h4s h1s and all that lot on there i don't have h1s actually but that's why i have all those levels on there and then i can input the h1s m30s for even more precision because remember these tiny gaps on m5 uh, m15 are huge gaps on m1 and they will represent on gold for example they will represent 13 14 15 pips whatever 20 pips 30 pips some some of the gaps will be 50 pips so anyway um that's it um, i apologize for rambling again guys but there might be some value here and before i blow it up and ruin another 20 minutes of my life i will stop here we go stopping now thanks for watching